In DreamWorks' new movie, Abominable, the main character uses bow, kind of like a pork bun or dumpling, to lure out the creature. Here, Corgi, Corgi, I got some bow for you. <gasps> Should we show everyone how we made it? Mmm. In the past, I did make bao using Domi Shi's recipe from the Pixar short bao, but today I thought we would mix things up using a combination of Domi Shi's recipe as well as Song Kyung Longest's recipe. I'm actually friends with her, by the way. She's a really good cook. She has a totally different way of making the outside of the bao that I thought I would try because if you guys remember when I tried using Domi Shi's method, mine got a little bit too doughy. So this is my redemption time. And of course, we will make some dog-friendly ones to, to lure out our corgi. So, let's get started with the recipe. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get a bowl, one tablespoon of yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, this provides the food for the yeast, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and a quarter cup of warm water. There, we got it. And now we need to let the yeast start growing, so we wait 30 minutes. He's like, I can't wait. I surely hope there's some bow for me. Bam! As you can see, the yeast started to consume all of the sugar and started to grow. Now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. One and a half cups more of all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, more yeast food, half a cup of warm water, and one tablespoon of canola oil. I don't have a freestanding mixer, so I'm just gonna knead it with my hands. And this is the hard part. We are going to let it rise for three hours. Bam, look at that. So much now. Flour, we also sprinkle half a teaspoon of baking powder that we're gonna knead for a while, for five minutes. Now that we have one nice ball, here it is. Okay, okay, so she said to just cut it in half and then into half again. Then you take the piece and you roll it into a ball and you stick it on some parchment paper. Despite the fact that I kept cutting in half, I feel like this, these over here are way smaller than this one. Oh well. We're gonna take a slightly damp cloth and cover for it for 30 more minutes. This is taking a long time. Okay, and now it's time for us to make the filling while we wait. I'm gonna be using Domi's mom's recipe from Bao. The reason I'm using this one is that um, it's mostly dog friendly. This is the ingredients that we are gonna be using. Ground pork, Napa cabbage, ginger, chicken bouillon powder, an egg, carrot, green onions, oyster sauce, Chinese cooking wine, you can also use sake, salt and pepper, and some olive oil. I'm just taking a few of the leaves, we're gonna set it aside, just gonna chop. Okay. Stick that in our bowl here. We're gonna do one carrot. He's like, hello, I hear chopping. I like food. Stick that in the bowl. And use this one that we got from the dollar store. Scallions over here, these are not dog friendly. You don't wanna chop it too thin, it's not like you're making ramen. You kinda just chop it like this size. We're gonna divide up the pork, half of this pork, into a bowl. I think this, what this does is it will help enhance the pork flavor. Mix this in with the raw pork. Isn't that interesting? Okay. First we're gonna make the dog friendly portion and then separate it out and then make the human portion. The pork, an egg, one teaspoon olive oil, one teaspoon oyster sauce. Not quite dog friendly, but it's so little that it shouldn't really be a problem. Now we're gonna mix this all up. Egg is used pretty much as the binder. We're gonna separate some of this out for Gatsby. And now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. The green onion, half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, Shaoxing wine, we're using two to three teaspoons, and we'll add some salt, pepper, and we'll mix this up. The really nice thing about it is that it has so many different textures. The meat does not fuse together, so it really does taste like you're like biting into like all these different things. It's not just like biting into a giant meatball. Ta-da! They rose even more! And I don't have a small rolling pin, so what I ended up doing is I bought one of these. Just take one of these. We wanna flatten it. This was not a good idea. <laughs> I needed to flour my hands. Wanna make sure that it's a circle, which I was horrible at doing last time. We're gonna keep the center part relatively fat and we're just gonna roll out the edges. Makes it easier to pinch the bow later on. The final perfect circle. Yay! And I 
actually does a super good job at keeping the bow from sticking. A big mound of it. I've only done this once, so we'll see if I still remember. Ta-da! Spinning around. Ta-da! According to Song Kyung, she said that we want to let the pork ones rest. So they're gonna rest for a little bit before we actually cook them. Heating up the water. And we just steam for 15 minutes. I am so ready. This took so long to do. Hopefully it's super good. I wonder if the abominable will like it. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Look how big those are. Oh, look at those. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. Is that for me? Oh, are you gonna get one? He's like, yes, I am. I am gonna eat one, yeah? You'll have one soon. You gotta let it cool down a little bit. Look at those. Just like in the movie, Gatsby. Yeah, are you ready to eat some bao? It's like a bun filled with yummy stuff inside, yeah. All the filling inside, Gatsby. The bao, the bun, is definitely is a lot better than the last time I made it. It's more like what a bao bun should taste like. Was that delicious? <laughs> I think I definitely did a lot better job this time. I do like Song Kyung's um, bun recipe. It definitely worked a lot better. The bun is nice and spongy and the insides are definitely like so many different textures. It doesn't taste like a meatball. There's just lots of different stuff in there. One more bao, just for the corgi. Eat it slowly, okay? It's gentle. Ah! Gatsby, what are you gonna do with that? Eat it slowly. Eat it slowly, Gatsby. Oh, he likes it. This took so long to make, but I think it's time for us to rewind to the beginning of the day and start the vlog. Good morning everybody. Stay tuned to the end of the vlog for a very special announcement that I'm going to be making. <gasps> what could it be, Gatsby? There's a Corgi meetup today. Are we going to go? Would you like to meet up with all your Corgi friends? We're gonna go to brunch now. Yes, are we gonna go and brunch? Yeah? Thank you. Hey, dude. I got a lobster roll. Look at that. <laughs> there he is, going down the escalator. Hey, dude. Fist bump. No, he tried. Fist bump. High five, high five. High five. <laughs> We're at the mall now. We're gonna grab some boba. You can get dirty tea. I read that too. We don't wash our hands. I'd like to order the dirty tea because I'm feeling dirty. <laughs> There's my dirty drink. My dirty tea. I don't even know if there's tea in this. I think it's just milk and brown sugar and bobas. It just tastes like creme brulee or something. <laughs> Look at that, what do you get, fleshy? Uh, blue citrus. <laughs> I'm not even on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> Look at that butt. Yeah. Check it out, look at his back. Ooh, see ya. Bye. Bye. Right now, I am shipping out all of the orders for the new Japanese Gatsby t-shirts over here. There's only a few in every single size left. It says Gatsby in Japanese. This one is going to Sunnyvale, California. 
It actually looks like the t-shirt that was like the the print was like bleached into the fabric, which is really nice. It's super soft. It doesn't feel like you have like all this ink that you're wearing on your shirt. Some of the sizes are already running out. I also have a few hoodies left over here. Johnny from East Lansing, Michigan ordered a vintage charcoal hoodie. Print the label. I also want to thank these awesome fans over here who already got their new Corgi on Fleet merchandise and tagged me and posted it on social media. Hashtag Corgi on Fleek. Thank you so much. So make sure if you haven't yet, go to CorgiOnFleek.com and check out all of our fall merchandise drop. And now let's continue on with the vlog. I thought I would give you guys a quick update on the aquarium and what's been going on with it. A few weeks ago, it was not doing very well at all. I like, cleaned the aquarium and by the next day, everything was like full of algae again. I was like, what's going on? Why is everything? And all the corals and anemones were all shriveled up. Every single time I would do a water change, the algae would come back like the next day. I did have my friend come over and test the water. He found out that all of my cleanup crew, which is snails and crabs, they all had died. And so what was happening was that all the fish waste and everything that was in my aquarium was building up and there was nothing there to really help break it down and cycle it. So I got some new cleanup crew, including trochus snails. Look at this one's already getting to work cleaning the glass. And I got five scarlet hermit crabs. It's been about a week and a half. All the corals were closing up, but as you can see, it's come, they're coming back to life. The anemones got really annoyed with the water quality change, and they started moving all around the aquarium. So I have some of them over here. I do have one in the back there, and I do have one behind the Gorgonian. So that's one thing we learned. We need to have a cleanup crew in the aquarium at all times. Cleanup crew includes like snails, you can use shrimp, you can use crabs. They help eat it and control all of the nutrients in the tank. So it's kind of like a circle of life ecosystem inside of here. And that's a quick aquarium update for you guys. Cool story, bro. Do you want to go to San Francisco and fly kites with my sister? <laughs> I have all these kites over here that we're going to do. There will be more explanation about why I have so many kites later. San Francisco! Okay, we made it. It looks like it's super windy. I don't know, it might be too windy to fly kites here. It's like way too strong. So we made it to Golden Gate Park instead. Yay! Okay, it's a little bit less windy here. I hope this is enough. It's breezy, it should be good. We got our crazy on fleet bag. You killed it. When I look back on my time as a kid, oh, I spend afternoons and just hold on my bed. Watching cartoons and you keep crossing flames. Gatsby! Gatsby! Nice 
back in. Ooh, okay. That was so much fun. I'll let you guys know later why I have kites. And <laughs> why I have so many. And before it gets too late, I'm gonna head over to the gym. I'm gonna hit some legs. And then we'll get started on the bow, which you probably already saw. Let's head over to the gym. We are going to let it rise for three hours. So while we wait for the buns to proof, we are gonna open some mail. This is from Daria from Beverly Hills, California. It's a new donut toy, Gatsby. Yes, I noticed that Gatsby doesn't have a Halloween themed donut, so I thought I would get him one. From Wahiwa, Hawaii. The Windhorst and Kurihawa Ohana. We got a giant water bowl. This is from Denise from Alice, Texas. High five. Good dog. There you go. Corgi butt magnet. And that's a nice sticker. Someone sent me two of these shower head filters. I don't know who sent this to me. It doesn't say there's no message. Mini. This is from Mini from Arlington, Massachusetts. Look at that, Gatsby. It's not for you. Wow, you knitted this whole thing. That's incredible. Okay, final present. Kimberly from Union City, New Jersey. Okay, first there's this. Oh, lamb chop! I loved lamb chop when I was younger. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Zelda Triforce Light. What video game systems do you use and what's Gatsby's costume size? For your fan, Kim. I think Gatsby is like a large or an extra large. It really depends on the stuff. Which consoles do I have? I have the Nintendo Switch. That's basically my main console. Gatsby's all happy with his lamb chop toy. <laughs> the Triforce. Oh, look at that. Gatsby and I want to thank all of you guys for sending us such wonderful and thoughtful, amazing gifts. Gatsby, we're so lucky, huh? We're gonna get back to making the bow, which you already saw. Mmm. Okay, you made it to the end of the vlog. I thought that I would explain to you guys the announcement now. We are working on a new calendar for 2020. Here's our old calendars that we have. Do you remember this in 2017? So I've been spending the entire month with Gatsby and our photographer working very, very hard on next year's calendar. I feel like every year the photographer, me and Gatsby put everything that we have into the calendar and I feel like this year is no different at all. We spent so much time time on this calendar. <laughs> it was so much work. We started at like 4 a.m. and ended at 12 a.m. in the morning. So it was like a 20 hour day. Look how beautiful. There's so much effort and thought that was put into each and every single picture and I'm excited for you guys to see. Every year I'm like, I don't think I, I can ever top um, <laughs> this calendar. And I feel like this year is the same. I feel like it's just like even better than last year somehow. This past week we were in Tahoe for about three days taking all of our photos. Of course we filmed a lot of stuff there so I'm excited to show you guys that and I'll be showing you guys all the footage in the upcoming vlogs. A lot of you guys love the calendar so much. I think it's a really great way to just brighten up your entire year because you'll see Gatsby in the calendar every single day on your wall. He'll make the entire year of 2020 Super, super awesome. Of course, more information to come in the upcoming vlogs. I'll show you guys the behind the scenes of how it was made, as well as all the work that goes into making a calendar. But that's for another day. Okay, that's gonna do it for us for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you wanna get our new t-shirts over here, which are almost sold out in some of the sizes, make sure to go to quirkyonfleek.com and we will see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Good morning, Gatsby!